Jesus had instructed his disciples not to disclose the important fact that he is the son of God and that they had seen his glory at the mountain. But Jesus now decides to reveal who he is and to make the people understand that he is the expected Messiah, the king of Jews. He enters Jerusalem as the king of kings. This was the time of the Passover feast. This was a time when Jews from all over the world gathers in Jerusalem. Jesus starts his journey from Mount Olive, which is on the eastern side of Jerusalem. As they approach Jerusalem near the town of Bethphage and Bethany, Jesus sends his disciple to fetch a young donkey that had never been ridden. The disciple brought a donkey to Jesus and he threw his cloak over it. Jesus mounted on it and continued his journey to Jerusalem. This journey of Jesus on the young donkey was the fulfillment of the prophecy of Zechariah. In those days it was believed that a king coming on a horse is for war and on a donkey is for peace. Jesus rode on a donkey, the symbol of humility, to testify that the kingdom of God is not worldly one as others had expected. The people accepted Jesus in a royal way. They spread their cloaks and branches of trees on the road. These were all things of deception given to victorious kings. The people who went ahead of and followed Jesus shouted in a great shout. Seeing this royal reception given to Jesus, a group of Pharisees became jealous and asked Jesus to stop the disciples. I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. Jesus saw the city of Jerusalem from far off. On foreseeing the utter destruction of Jerusalem, as it rejected him, he wept. As Jesus said, the city was completely destroyed in AD 70. After entering Jerusalem, he went to the temple. He drove out those who were selling things there. This was the fulfillment of the prophecy of Malachi. The temple court was a place for Gentiles and buying and selling were being done there. As a result, the Gentiles could not freely participate in the prayers. He not only purified the temple, but also cured blinds and lames. Here we can see Jesus who rises against exploiters at the same time gives showers of blessing to the faithful. Jesus purified the temple and he used to preach there daily.